Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I received is, their cut orders enough. The scripture comes from Ezekiel 37 and 15. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, take a stick of wood and write on it. Belonging to Judah and the Israelites associated with him. Take the... Then, Take, then take another stick of wood and write on it, belonging to Joseph, that is to Ephraim, and all the Israelites associated with him. Join them together into one stick so that they will become one with your hand. <sighs> okay. So here's the message. Here's the message. God is saying that for whoever this is for, I just feel like you received the, the weirdest, like th this, the instructions that God gave you were so weird. They were so odd. They were so strange. And you were just like, what? But God, been what he said. They were so weird. They were so odd. They were so strange. But God meant what he said. And I just feel like even regardless to if it's a situation where like, you know what I'm saying? God, you a prophet and God sends you to somebody to tell them something. You never know who you helping. You never know who really needed to hear that. Okay, you never know. And I just feel like you should never be embarrassed to relay a message that could possibly help somebody. You know, even though, to me, y'all know, like, I've said so many times that there are people that be like, you always talking about, you always telling people what they need to do when you not perfect. And I, I, I've said several times that I am not perfect. I know I am not perfect. I don't even act like I'm perfect. I have no problem telling on myself. Y'all know all my business. I can't stunt. They'll be, I'm going to be like, you know what I'm saying? I, I may, I'm not the kind of person I come on here telling names and giving pictures and stuff like that. But in reality, y'all know my business y'all know i have had testimony after testimony of one of my testimonies i showed y'all pictures of me in the club on the tables on the bar y'all like i'm not lying <laughs> i know i'm not making stuff up i may block out other people's faces because once again i'm not snitching on nobody i'm not got a person where i'm sitting up here and i'm sad to tell it and i'm trying to say well such and such was there too no we're not gonna do that okay now if they want to tell on themselves that's their business but <laughs> They want to go around talking about, she's talking about me, she's talking about me. That's their business. That is their business. But me, personally, I'm not going to go and say who I'm talking about. I omit names. I omit anybody's pictures and identities and all that. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just feel like it's a situation where you literally would have had to be there. Like, you had to have been there in order to be able to put names and faces to what I'm talking about. But in reality... I just feel like for whoever this is for, it could be a situation where you feel like it's embarrassing sometimes. Like, you know what I'm saying? It can be embarrassing. Sometimes, like before I was actually on YouTube prophesying and I would tell people dreams I had and I would tell people like things that they needed to do and God said do this and God said do that. They ain't want to listen to me like that. I, they ain't want to listen to me like that. I that, that God spoke through me and saved somebody life one time talking about I'm dreaming gone wasted 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 high is okay i ain't even gone i'm i'm gonna tell the truth gone and I, like young i was 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 young lord have mercy i don't even think i was 28 and girl sitting next to me start having a seizure they were gonna put her outside i said y'all should put her in the shower they put her in the shower. She woke up. She started screaming by her hair. They took her out the shower. She started having a seizure again. I said, y'all should put her back in that shower. And all well about the hair. <laughs> Why are we worried? Why are we concerned about the hair? Who cares about the hair? Like, she needs to be here. And I just feel like it's a situation where 
I could have been embarrassed about that. After that, they started calling me. I think they started calling me Dr. Phil or something. Like, they started calling me something. Yeah, Dr. Phil. They were calling me Dr. Phil. Like, I knew everything. And I, they knew I was the doctor in the room. The, drug, the I was drunk. But I was the doctor in the room. And I'm the one that told everybody what to do. And, like, you know what I'm saying? I could have been embarrassed about that. But I just feel like sometimes you have to think that it will be more embarrassing for somebody to lose their life because you didn't open your mouth. Whew, confirmation. It should be more embarrassing to know that you knew information, that God put information upon your heart that, that could have saved somebody, that could have helped somebody, that could have got them out that situation. Just like, you know, the message earlier where God shake me and said, no, I put that song at the end of your dream for a reason. Go ahead and shed it. I could be embarrassed. A little bit, you know what I'm saying? I, I could, I could, I could. I already know it's going to be somebody trying to say, oh, you die, 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 die. I, I ain't trying to hear that. Because in reality, I would prefer to go ahead and say what God told me to say. And for whoever is meant to hear it, to hear it. Then to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I ain't nobody got time for that. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, God said, even if you feel silly doing whatever it is he told you to do, do it. Because if you listen to this, God is telling this man to take a stick and write on it belonging to Judah and the Israelites associated with him. Then to take another stick and write on it belonging to Joseph and all the Israelites associated with him. Join them together into one stick. So that they will become one with his hand. So God is telling him to pull a stick here, a stick here, and then tie it around his hand. That's literally like, and, and you could feel, I just feel like for whoever this is, it could be a situation where you feel silly. You know what I'm saying? I feel silly. This is a Christian channel. And the song is literally a song that is sacrilegious. And it's not just sacrilegious. It is out of control sacrilegious. It is out of control sac. It is like, a oh, Sinful, lustful, and out of control. But that is the song that God used to describe somebody who is sinful, lustful, and out of control. You know what I'm saying? That's just real. That's just real. That's just... Am I going to play the song? No. Am I about to, you know, read all the lyrics out to y'all? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to encourage nobody to go and listen to the song. I'm telling you what it's about. And I'm telling you I want to hear. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to, you know, like. Anywho. I just feel like God said there is no reason for you to be ashamed. There's no reason for you to be embarrassed. There's no reason for you to feel as though you cannot say what God told you to say. And you should not do what God told you to do. Anybody that's trying to tell you that you're wrong for doing what God told you to do, they're trying to come against God. And they're going to have smoke with him, not with you. God said you do what he said. You say what he said. Like, even just, like, with that, I literally can show y'all how the dream is all the way up. And then the message that says, I saw you cross that out. Was that the assignment? This is, like, these were two completely, I, I like, I, 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 I'm perplexed. Like, I knew what I was going to do before I did it. And that's what he said. He know, he know everything. He know everything. He knows everything before it even happened. And if God knows that to that extent, that a week later, I would record the video and cut that out, that to such an extent that he, he had me a few days after he gave me the dream to write down, I didn't tell you to cross that out. And then right after I finished that message, he sent me to that message and then like reminded me, I said that song too. I said that song too. I said that song too. And you know, after I had the dream, the song would not leave me. I was like, I don't want to listen to this song. <laughs> I don't want to listen to, I don't want to hear this song in my head. No more. No more. Not one more time do I want to hear this song here going. Not one more time. Not one more time. Not one more time. And you know what I'm saying? I just feel like, for you know, whoever this is for, God said you should not be ashamed to say what he asked you to say. Don't be ashamed to do what he asked you to do because you never know who you are helping in the process. Even if it does feel kind of embarrassing to relay the message, it may feel embarrassing to say what God is telling you to, but you don't know who you helping. You don't know who you saving. You could be saving somebody's life. Like literally. 
And, and even what the message is about, that, that is a life-threatening situation because there are some women that will take you up out of here behind they think thing, behind the man that they want to be with. And they could be so mad because how dare you be married and you got this ring and you walking around like this and you walking around like that and he say he don't even like you, but you won't leave him alone, so I'm going to make you leave him alone. Think it's a game. And, and I just feel like it's a situation where... Um, God is saying when he asks you to do something, do it. And that's the message. Even if it, it seems crazy to you and you feel like it's silly and you feel like it don't make sense and you feel like people going to look at you funny and they're going to say, why would they do that? And they're going to think that was silly. That was stupid. That was dumb. That's fine. Let them think whatever they want to think. They are compete. They're going against God. They're not going against you. You do what God said. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.